AEAC is made possible by Air Venturi, Hawk Optics, Diana Air Guns, FX Air Guns, Day State, Air Arms, Sports Match Rings UK, H&N Sport, Aztec Optics, and JSB Predator Pellets. And you guys know the best way to thank them. Guys, this is Shane Keller with Element Optics. You've see, been, good to see you, man. Good to see you. You've probably recognized him from maybe my EWA videos and being a championship shooter out in, out in Phoenix, yeah. man. You've like done it all. It's been fun. And here you, you know. are at the Helmet Element. Yeah, now we're doing Element, doing a lot of optics, getting a lot of feedback and uh, listening and you know, trying to bring the best product uh, that we can to the table. You guys are absolutely slaying the dragon. So I've asked Shane, they have three scopes that I've asked him to take us through, and then I think he's got a brand new one he's going to share with us a yeah, little bit about too. Want to start at the beginning? Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll start with the uh, Helix here. Okay. So the Helix is uh, our entry level uh, scope. When I say entry level, it doesn't mean it's a budget scope. Uh, they start at about three hundred seventy nine dollars, mm -hmm. all up to about four hundred and eighty dollars. Uh, available in first uh, focal plane and second focal plane for, with magnifications from 4 to 16 to 6 to 24. Okay. Um, with different reticle options, clean, I like to call them clean or dirty reticles. Uh -huh. Meaning clean, you know, you got no windage markings and oh, the dirty sure. reticles yeah, have the, uh, the, the windage markings. Mm -hmm. So a lot of different options available in these uh, MOA or versus the rad. And what makes this special is, the, is its value yeah. price. Correct. You know, with the Helix, which is really neat, is we have the, if you're a guy that likes to dial when shooting, mm -hmm. we have the Helix down to 100% tracking. So if you dial for it, uh, MRAD, it's going to dial for MRAD. It's I not going to have a little bit of an error. I was just going to ask ask about that. So I've shot this, and to me, it doesn't feel mm -hmm. like a $400 scope. Yeah. It feels like it kind of plays in a in an arena that's with a little bit it bigger is. boys than that. You definitely do. Like I said, we put extra time, energy, and money into our turrets. So you're going to have stainless steel on stainless steel. Where a lot of times in scopes you'll find a brass housing uh -huh. on stainless steel ball beat tips. So that's why it feels so good. Yeah, and you know, brass is softer than uh, steel. So over time, that brass is going to get rounded and be a little bit more mushy. Uh -huh. and you're not going to have that problem with stainless steel on stainless steel. And you'll find that in all of our scopes, from the Helix to the Titan, the Nexus. All that stainless steel, stainless steel, stainless steel, stainless steel. SS over SS. SS. Yeah, kind of like, like that. SS over SS. SS what is, over what, us. What, SS over SS. Yeah. <laughs> so what is the price, what, or not the price point, but at 400 bucks warranty? So all of our scopes, lifetime, no questions asked warranty, no fault warranty, um, no proof of purchase. So if, I'm a own, if I own this scope and you buy it from me on second hand, that warranty is now uh, transfers over to you. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, so, you know, I had a guy the other day, had his gun on a tripod, wind came, fell over, busted the uh, top of the, the bell and dented it up pretty good. Mm -hmm. He sent it in, we got a brand new one within a week. And that's amazing. It was ready to go, so. This, you know, Element, guys, is kind of a special brand in, in the scope industry, especially, you know, they're, they're for powder burners, but air gunners, too. Mm -hmm. Are you, can you tell the story a little bit? Because there's one in my head that I kind of know about. As, as the, far as the band got together to kind of bring the product. Yeah, and you know, it's, uh, I don't even know now. It's been with COVID, everything happened about, about three years ago, four years ago. Um, you know, Ted Beer, and Matt Dover, they always wanted to kind of do put their ideas in a reticle and features into a scope, and they started talking. Um, you know, and I've known them for years, just like I've known you for years, and we yeah. started talking and. It's like, hey, well, let's do this. Let's do this optics thing. You know, one thing led to the next, and you know, here we are, three years down the road. And so you keep moving forward. A lot of stuff in the pipeline. A lot of new ideas. A lot of cool stuff coming too. Yeah, so these are the guys at the helm. Yeah. Matt, Ted, Shane. These are throwing the love on at uh, FX is uh, heavily involved. Yeah, financially backed by FX mm -hmm. Airguns. So that's a lot of muscle in one scope. Yeah. So you know, that's what, when I work with Fred. It's great. You know. Uh, he said, you know, he focuses on guns, he wants to focus on guns, yep. but because I know nothing about scopes, I don't want to know nothing about scopes, I trust you guys, you guys are the, you know, behind the company, um, I'm here to help, but uh, it's really given us free reign, which has been that great. freedom's got to be it's awesome. It's been awesome. So, yeah. You guys are killing it. So I'm, I'm eyeballing that little Helix so, yeah, we got the Helix. No, we got the Helix, the one we just went over. Or, or I mean the Helix, the, the Titan. Titan. Yep. So the Titan. So it's Helix, Nexus. 
Titan. Helix, Helix Titan, Titan Nexus. Nexus. Yeah. Correct. So the Titan is a uh, 34 mil tube. Yeah. Uh, so you five, go from 30 to 34. 30 to 34. Mm -hmm. from 5 to 25. Mm -hmm. So that larger tube diameter, you get a lot more dial um, up and down. And a much bigger turret, which is a lot of PRS NRL shooters love. Because if you're only getting 6 mils per revolution versus uh, you know something that's double that, if not even more, you don't have to turn, 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 turn. Mm. You can get to nine, ten mils very quickly. Okay. Um, so that helps. It's kind of like having, glass. having more speeds on a ten speed. Exactly. You just get there quicker. Exactly. Yeah. And so this is only available right now in a five to twenty-five, both MOA and MRAM. Uh huh. Uh, in about three weeks, we are going to be launching a three to eighteen by fifty Titan. Uh, all right. So. It's a little bit shorter, smaller diameter, uh -huh. and that scope's going to have 150 MOA of travel, oh my which goodness. is a That's lot massive. of travel. Yeah, yeah, I had a, one of the, one of the, you know, Rick Ring, true, yep. true 1721 yep. YouTuber. Yep, was taking 600, 700 yard shots all with the dial. And usually he has to dial and then do some holdover. Say that again. Six, yes. six, seven hundred yard shots. Six, with an seven hundred yard shots. With an air gun. Air gun. Air gun. And he's dialing it, hitting those shots. That's so, amazing. That yeah, was on the was, prairie dog hunt you got off. Of. No, was, was it? Well, we were about a month ago shooting prairie dogs. Yeah. I guess he was in Nashville. Oh. And he was telling me uh, what he was doing with it. So, well, what's the price point of this one? So, so four hundred. This is a, a seven ninety nine, eight hundred dollars. Uh huh. And same warranty, same features, same zero stops. Um, and you're gonna find the helix. Uh, Does the glass change? Is that yeah, why it's so more expensive? There's a lot of lenses in this, uh -huh. and it takes that light, gets huge light transmission pass, and uh, ED glass in a scope like this. So ultra bright, ultra yeah. crisp. Yeah, so a lot of people ask, you know, we'll move on to the Nexus. Yeah. And it's $1,500. Uh huh. Um, this scope competes clarity wise with the Nexus. But I mean, the biggest difference mm -hmm. is size and weight. You know, if weight's not a problem for you, and you want to save yourself some money, this is a great scope. So this is all, they have the same awesomeness, but what you're paying for is a more compact more, version Just like that. anything, you know, lighter. Sure. Lighter, faster, smaller, exactly. more money. That costs money. Mm -hmm. But for 800 bucks, you get, a, you get a lot of scope. It's just, like I said, it's going to be a, lot, a little bit heavier than something like the Nexus is going to be. Okay. So moving on to the Nexus. Yep. Japanese made, made mm -hmm. by one of the most you know, respected manufacturers in the world. Uh, it's 5 to 20 by 50, 30 millimeter tube. Um, a lot of the same features, you know, that, that's what's great about our scopes. You're going to get the same features in the $400 scope mm -hmm. as you are in the $1,500 scope. The, the scope, SS over SS, the SS the lifetime over SS, warranty. Yep. <laughs> Platinum lifetime warranty. Transferable. Transferable, no proof. <laughs> But yeah, stainless on stainless, dials 100%, just like all of our scopes. So if you dial again, 4 MOA, 4 MRAD, whatever it is, it's gonna dial exactly if you're that. You're a dialer guy, element your scope. But yeah, I mean, this has some mounts on it, we had it on the gun, but you can see it's a much lighter scope mm -hmm. than the, with the Titan oh, scope. Oh gosh, yeah, wow. Super cool. But yeah, it's, it's been a great scope, and it's a, it's a good scope just for all round type shooting. If you're a hunter, you wanna shoot some bench rest, shoot some PRS, you know, it, it, it can do it all. It's all in one scope. To clarify, we're at an air gun event, but all of these are, are good for any power. Oh yeah, gun. all power. Um, they're all tested at the, the recoil of the 50 BMG, so they hold up. And they work on spring guns as well. I get a lot of questions. Will they hold up? Well, that's a great recoil? question. So they hold up to spring guns and they warranty. So anywhere from spring gun to pre uh, PCP, pre-charge automatic to your uh, big Magnum uh, centerfire rifles. Awesome. Now I see something new down here. Yeah, this is exciting. We've been working on this for... The Theos? Did the I theos, say that right? The Theos. Element Theos. Look at that. So we've been working on this for about two years. And, you know, nothing I've learned, nothing happens fast. So Goodness. Yeah, so this is a completely designed turret. We, uh, we worked with a guy out of Germany, worked for a very respected company for years. And uh, now he does uh, a lot of contract work. And we contacted him, told him the features and everything that we were wanting in the scope. And worked back and forth, bounce ideas off. And we designed this turret system. And this turret system is very unique. It's my favorite feature. I don't know if your camera can see it. I'm going to take pictures for them. Okay. So while we're talking, they can see what you're talking about. So, you know, a lot of times when you re zero a scope, and set your zero stop. You got to sight your gun in. Yep. And then take everything off its Allen keys or whatnot and set your zero stop. So this scope, for example, let's say there's my hundred yard zero. Yeah, That's so where it ends up being. All I do is take off this top cap, take the turret off, uh -huh. put it back on uh -huh. zero, and then, just put, the and then put this cap back on. 
and your zero uh, stop zero is set five clicks behind zero. So no matter where you're at, yeah. and it's that easy. Oh, it's so cool. The other neat thing, and I have to get some pictures, is the uh, uh, indicator. I can see that in there. So as I dial up, mm -hmm. well, I'm on the, the first rotation. Mm -hmm. See how oh, yeah, yeah, see that. Yep. Right the number two. So oh, now cool. you know you're on the second rotation. Well, they'll, they can see that. So oh, let's okay. just yeah, do that. Let's and just do see. that in slow motion. There's, this, there's, there's your the first rotation. As soon as I go over, bam, number two. That's so, so cool. So you never take it. Was I on the second rotation first? So it takes all the guesswork out of it. Oh, that's so cool. And so this one right here doesn't have the cap, so it is a capped windage. Um, it does include a beauty ring, which you can see here. What did you call that? A beauty ring. A beauty ring? To see the exposed threads. Uh huh. So if you had a cap, and you have to get a picture with the cap on so you can see the difference. Oh. So if you had the cap on, it would cut the thread onto that. If you're still me that doesn't want to use the cap, take this beauty ring, thread it on there, and it gives it a nice clean look. Okay. So we'll come with that. Cool. What, what was the price point of this one, or do you, so, know, do you even know yet? It's a six, is, uh, six, is six to 36, okay. 34 mil two. Uh -huh. Price point, we don't have final pricing, so I'm not going to cool. say anything yet, but yeah. it's a it's a tier one scope. It's, it's, this is very, very nice. You think it'll be more than the Nexus? It will. Yeah, okay. Definitely. Yeah, this is, uh, this is definitely out there with some of the best stuff uh, on market. Amazing. So yeah, we're very excited to see this. Um, we have some scopes that are being floating around. Uh, this weekend, um, you know, guys will be using those. Oh so. yeah, yes, this this product is all over the competitive shooters' guns. It's everywhere. Um, can you talk a little bit about what I'm looking at down here? I see your Theos is on it. This yeah, is so badass. I gave, I gave the gun to Utah Air Guns a while back. Can I give it? Put it in your yeah. hands so that they yeah, can so see. Here, it? Do something neat for me here. for element. Oh, here we go. Yeah. And Justin at Utah Air Guns, it just came in yesterday. So they put it together and they gave it to me yesterday. And Put the Theos on. I'm going to use it out this weekend. And that's have something a little different. So that's your that's your competition gun. Yeah, I haven't shot it yet, but we're ready. <laughs> He's we're ready gonna, to go. We're going to figure this out in about an hour, hopefully. <laughs> if not, we'll uh, I'll look good doing it, right? You will absolutely. So, well, speaking of Utah air guns and Armac, mm -hmm. brother, I got to ask, Armac, what's your favorite part about it? Oh man, there's so much, but you know, definitely it's just all the people in the industry being here at one time, all the people who love. The sport of air gunning and getting to meet people, talking to them, and just I mean, if I only had one thing, that would be it. I mean, the competition's fun and being talking crap back and forth to people, but just meeting people and hanging around and just seeing faces because it's a cool industry. You know, we're all it's a big, it's a growing industry. We're all spread out around the U.S., around the world, around the world. So it's not like we just see each other, you know, day in day out. No. So, be able to see you, you know, that three, four times a year, and yep. Giles over in the, the pond, or this person, this person, it's, yeah. it's, it's great. There are definitely stops along the circuit, and this is yeah. a big one, and, sure. and I agree with you, man. This is, sure. this is the bee's knees out here. Yeah, it is, no doubt. Dude, thank you for taking us through the, uh, uh, the product. It looks fantastic. Yeah. And uh, wish you luck this Until weekend, Until next man. time, Steve. You can shoot, so these people out here should be a little bit scared, yeah, even well, though you haven't practiced with that guy. Yeah, yet. we're going to go figure that out. <laughs> Good luck, brother. Thanks, Steve.